to join me back at the Norbrecht today, just over the road there. Look at this, I've come for a bike ride, and uh, yeah, look at the views. Alright, let's go and explore. Hopefully this gives you an idea of the scale of the place, it's got all these buildings here in front, it's absolutely massive. Okay then, so I've done my usual trick, I booked a single room, and they give me a single room. So, I've actually got a single bed this time, but look at this, this is actually a nice room. All this furniture is brand new, it's great to see. Straight away though, I'm drawn to this in the middle of the floor where someone's clearly burnt an iron into the floor, so that's not nice is it? I don't know why you would do that. Uh, right then, so all these as I said before, so you've got a nice desk and a big mirror. So the desk is new and the chair's new. The chest of drawers along with the wardrobe and the bedside table here. So it's all matching, it's all good to see. So what do we get? Let's have a look. So there's nothing in the wardrobe other than just some steel blinders. But all this is brand new, it's right, nice and clean. There's no dust anywhere. I've had a look on top and the top's the same. And even better, it's screwed to the wall because I heard someone had quite a bit of an accident with one of these. Someone actually died when one of these uh, fell on top of them. So we certainly won't, don't want to see that. But it is screwed to the wall. So we've got new curtains. So on the windowsill has actually been painted, so it's right quite clean. Now the windows is a bit dirty, but and all them marks are actually paint. So whoever's painted this building have <laughs> slopped it about that much, it's got all over the windows. And in every single room I've had to paint on the windows. Yes, the windows are dirty, but you know, third floor up here. Um, in a seaside location how often do you really think they're going to be cleaning the windows well, I'm not really bothered either uh, it lets a bit of light in and I can actually open it and lock it so happy days right then so we've got TV normally we have a hair dryer in one of these drawers but for some reason today we've not but I don't need any hair dryers do I right then bathroom let's have a look so this is a decent floor that's a new sink and a new bath and a new shower head. So all this is clean. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. All the way around, look. Yeah, I'm happy with this. No issues. Normally they give you like a little bar of soap, but again, I've not got one of them. But I have got soap on the wall here. So uh, I think it's just it smells quite nice actually. Shower head, brand new. Nice to see. And there's loads of pressure. Um, really really good showers here now there was two towels but I have just been swimming so I took that one so if you want to go swimming at this place it's two pound extra to go swimming which is an absolute steal so I ask it every night is the kettle clean what do you think and lo and behold it is so that's good to see and we've also got some Britannia tea and coffee. Fortunately, this is facing the wrong way. So I'll open them out and turn it the right way around. Right then, so why am I back at the Norbrick? Well, why not? <laughs> That's the top and bottom of it. Uh, to be totally honest, I tried to look at other hotels in Blackpool today, but everything is ridiculous in price. Uh, I was looking at the Imperial, and that was over 160 quid. For the night I will include uh, a picture of that now also the other hotels that are about are just ridiculous I can't not get anything other than this and um, normally I don't stay in B&B's it's not something I'm into so when I say hotel prices are expensive I mean actual hotels like this one um, so yeah I don't generally look at the B&B's I have stayed in B&B's before, but it's just not for me. I much prefer the hotels. So I brought my bike with me this time, and I've gone for a bit of a ride earlier on. I went to Cleveland's. I'll put some pictures. Okay then, so if you've not subscribed already, uh, please, please do so, because it will really help the channel grow. Much appreciated.
but yeah, really nice area. You're really close to Cleveland's here, so um, it's walkable. Um, approximately a 15 minute walk. Uh, much closer than you are to Blackpool, so yeah, really good. So this hotel, as I said before, you've got a pool, gym, sauna, steam room, um, and uh, a jacuzzi. And if you want to use that, it's an extra two pound. Parking, it's three pound per day, or you can park on the road for free which is what I've done, because your car is certainly no safer on the car park. And if anything ever happens to your car, they won't pay you out for it. So what, what's the point in paying? You might as well just park on the road. And if you get robbed, you get robbed. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah, so that's that one. Wi-Fi, £7 extra here. Uh, you don't usually need it, because you do get a pretty good signal. Um, entertainment every night. Uh, on a weekend, there's free entertainment downstairs. It usually consists of some sort of uh, cabaret act or singer. And then they also have a bingo on later on. So you can do that. There's also an arcade here. And there's actually a cinema inside, though I have never seen it open. Um, so there's a cinema. There's also uh, two bars. So you've got one in the main restaurant area. You've also got a, a coffee shop. And then on the other side of it, uh, you've actually got another coffee shop in um, the, I think it's called Copperface Jacks or something. So they serve coffee in there too. Uh, you can have outdoor seating as well. The reason I like this hotel is the price. It is so cheap. I cannot get it anywhere for any cheaper. Um, so yeah, there's a tram stop right outside. I've actually got a real steak pie tonight. Pizza steak in it. Looking forward to gammon and peaches. Uh, opted for uh, Cumberland dinner tonight. Right then, so it's the next day now, and I slept brilliantly uh, in this great bed here. So, yeah, really comfy. Just had a good shower as well. Um, ignore the black bits on the bottom, that's just enamel where it's chipped off. But yeah, loads of pressure. Really happy. Let's go and have a look around. I am actually having breakfast today, so let's go and see what that's like. So all the corridors have been redone. It's all nice and painted freshly. That's all you can smell here as well. working the lift it's been like this forever oh, does it matter oh, this has been repainted so this is where the pool is just through here not currently open opens at eight o'clock no, just a bit too early but yeah, it's, you swipe your key card here, and it's two pounds to go in. It's all nice enough, isn't it? So, last night when I checked in, it's actually an Elvis convention on. So I must have seen 50 people dressed as Elvis before I'd even checked in. It's quite funny. So, yeah. did see actually one went outside but I really wanted to say Elvis had left the building but there was that many of them. Britannia is the only place you'll get away with having garden furniture in the bar. But they have freshened it up in here. It's got new carpet and everywhere's painted. So I don't think it's too bad. Join you in the breakfast room. Okay, so, all juices in here. Cereal. 
covers up. the government lancer. So that was it for this one. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of the uh, food. I've not seen pre-toasted toast before. But yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that one again. So I'm on my way to the car now. I've just seen there's an Elvis sticker. <laughs> so yeah, there's quite a few Elvis people in here. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Would you stay? And if you know of anywhere else, let me know. Thanks for watching, until the next one.